uh -huh. every year. Every year. Yeah. We're the, the fastest, fastest turkeys in the flock. I can't get enough of these cold mornings and this winter air, and I have to stop saying it or my family's going to make me start sleeping outside. Hi, I'm Sam Rollins, Chief of Communications for Santa Cruz City Schools, with your weekly news. And this weekend, the Santa Cruz Holiday Parade is going to be downtown, and so will I. And so, most likely, will be your school. If you want to come out with layers and most likely an umbrella, it's going to be a lot of fun to see the whole town come together and to see teams from so many of our schools celebrating this great season. It's from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And not just schools will be there, but organizations and businesses and people from all over the community. Come along yourself and join us. Details at link number one. Now, we decided this year to try something new and give families that are starting a new school next fall, say transitioning into elementary, middle, or high schools, a preview of what to expect in terms of curriculum, supports, opportunities, and student life in a series of Q&A webinars. We did the high school one last week, and it really went great. And if you missed it and you're headed to high school soon, no worries. We've posted a version of that on our website where you can see us go over college prep curriculum, um, career technical education, student supports, our licensed counselors, sports, arts, and so much more. You can find it at link number two. And if you're starting middle school soon, we're giving that preview next Monday at 7 p.m. You can find that info at link number three. Now, we're also doing one for families poised to start TK or kindergarten, but well, if you're watching this, you've probably been there already. You can join us and get a refresher anyways, and you can also please feel free to share link number three with anyone that you know who might soon be new to elementary school um, so that we can give them a nice introduction of what to expect and how to make that transition as smooth as possible. It's also a great venue to ask any questions that you have about elementary or middle school. Um, and those will both be next Monday, elementary at 5.30, middle school at 7. And again, you can find the Zoom links and the info at link number three. Next week is Computer Science Education Week. And this means a lot of fun activities in the classroom across grade levels. It also means informative virtual resources that uh, the County of Education has put together and you can find at link number four. And what we're particularly excited about, at least I am, is the Computer Science Playground event next week at the Santa Cruz Museum of Art and History, the MAW. This free event will be Thursday, December 8th, from 4 to 6 p.m., and it's going to be full of hands-on activities led by passionate industry professionals, all aimed at kids. Um, our Santa Cruz City Schools tech coach, Aaron Asimoto, will be there as well. Um, it's going to be a great opportunity for any kids who are interested in computers, in software, in coding, and in technology in general to learn. You can find all that info at link number five. Now, I hope that you're all staying well and warm now that we have turned the corner into December, and I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite holiday traditions in the district, the Branson 40 Middle Turkey Trot. It is fun, it's loud, it's an outlet for gratitude and community, but it's also, like so many of my favorite things, completely ridiculous. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Go for the W. Wait, wait, wait. It's such a fun event. It's such a fun tradition. A good time is had by all where they walk or run. The staff gets involved. The community gets involved. It's a great day. You got to do. I'm grateful for my family and friends that supported me through this long mile and a half run. Yeah, have you been training for weeks and weeks for this? No. <laughs> it's fun to get to see the kids out there running, having fun. They're giving it their all, they're having fun, and it's great to have a celebration for right before Thanksgiving.